Well, I came across this news article out of uh, Pakistan, further showing the kind of fruit of Islam, and how just like it's an authoritarian system, just like Roman Catholicism or atheism or the uh, satanic, demonic, blasphemous, antichrist religion of Judaism. But it says here in this article on jihadwatch.org, it says Christian declines to convert to Islam as falsely accused of blasphemy and imprisoned. And it says Pakistan's blasphemy laws are routinely used for the worst human rights abuses the world yawns as stories as such as this one don't fit the narrative. Yeah, exactly. Because the uh, media wants to paint out as the kind of wants to reinforce this Muslim victimhood mentality. But let's read what the article says. In Pakistan, an adult Christian, Rimat Messi, has been in prison for five months in a new fabricated blasphemy case. He is accused of profaning and desecrating the pages of the Quran, but in reality, he allegedly simply refused and offered to change religion. The police also threatened his family, warning them not to uh, prosecute the case. As a result, he had to move to a safer location. Uh, Rimat, 44 years old, the father of two teenage children, has worked for 20 years as a cleaner at the Zamzam Publishing House which was responsible for printing and, and binding the Muslim holy text. The owners and employees had offered him to convert to Islam, but he repeatedly he had, but he had repeatedly refused to change religion. On December 28th, Remat went to Zamzam Publishers for his usual work. Here, he was asked about the, the, the basically the defacement of some pages of the Quran found in the sewage drain. Remat replied said that he was replied that he was unaware of the missing holy pages from the publishing house. Yeah, and by the way, the Quran is not holy; it's an unholy. A blasphemous rabble just like the Book of Mormon essentially uh, which was inspired by devils but I call it the unholy Quran but it says here on January 3rd 2022 police arrested Remat Massey accusing him of committing blasphemy and tortured him severely to make him admit to desec desecrating uh, the, the Quran an offense under section 295 B of the Pakistan penal code punishable punishable by life imprisonment on the 19th of January 2022 a bail application was fired or is filed, sorry, for the defendant, but the judge rejected it in a hearing held on May 31st, 2022. Rematch uh, had his statement placed on the record before the honorary judge in which he stated that he does not plead guilty to the charge of blasphemy brought against him. And good for standing up for himself because he didn't do anything wrong. And even if he did, there's nothing morally wrong with blaspheming the Quran because why? It's a demonic blasphemous book. I mean, Jesus Christ has no issue with blaspheming the Quran. So even if he did do it, yeah, he may be guilty in the eyes of the Pakistani court, but he's not guilty in the eyes of Jesus Christ. That simple. So I wanted to show you guys that. Just more examples of the Muslims displaying what Genesis 16, 11, and 12 says. They're wild men. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.